Hi! In this video we are going to dig into new configuration software for Eurosense Dominator Fuel Level Sensors. It has been completely revised. After connection to the sensor, you can see sensor output data and sensor information in the same window. On the Configuration tab, you see only important and necessary settings for a given sensor model. Here you can set up the sensor address in RS485 network. If necessary, you can force sensor to reply for any address request using the Ignore option. Also, you can switch on the Modbus RTU protocol instead of default liquid level sensor protocol. Using default LLS protocol, you can set up the minimum and the maximum sensor output value. Maximum value is limited by 65535. You can set up the data smoothing described in seconds. Output sensor value is going to be averaged during this interval. If you click the Advanced Settings button, you will see a few more settings, and only relevant settings of this connected sensor model will be active. Terminator and pull-up options for RS-485 network can help establish communication between sensors in large network with a lot of sensors connected. You can change the speed of RS-485 interface. And for general LLS data protocol, you can turn on the automatic data messaging in a symbol or binary format and set up its time interval. Now let's check the calibration tab. You can calibrate sensors usually with the help of the empty slash full buttons. You can use calculated calibration as well without immersing sensor in the fuel. To do that, you have to cut the sensor first and then click Calculated Calibration. Based on the empty detector value, the sensor will calculate its length and full detector value. You can help configurator to do it more accurately by entering the sensor length after cutting. In both cases, calculated calibration value should be a bit higher than the real one to avoid dead zone during tank calibration. As a result, maximum sensor output value on a full tank is going to be lower than the maximum value described in the sensor settings. Now about the procedure of tank calibration. In the new configurator, we have added a lot of tools to avoid this procedure in as many cases as possible. You don't have to calibrate the fuel tank in the following cases. 1. When fuel level data is enough for customer, not volume. 2. When you can describe the tank shape by math formula, for example a rectangular or cylinder tank. 3. If customer can provide an existing tank calibration table, normally in height-volume format. 4. If you have already calibrated a similar tank. Let's check the tools of new sensor configurator. The first tool is a new column, V slash H. It shows the ratio of volume increment to level increment. In essence, this parameter describes the width of the fuel tank at this height. You can immediately judge by changing this parameter whether the calibration is going well. The larger the value, the wider the tank at a given point. As a rule, this value changes smoothly, for example, it grows towards the middle of the tank and then gradually decreases. Volume column now contains the current volume at this point and not the volume of the added portion. Let's look at the Math Calibration tab. Here are some tools to calibrate the big fuel tanks. You can see the drawing of general system tank and you can fill in all dimensions and get a ready tank calibration table. Manifold height and distance between sensor end and tank bottom are taken into account. Note that you can set up dimension E equal to zero and get horizontal cylinder shape. After cutting the sensor, you need to bind real sensor values to these calculations. 
To do that, you have to calibrate the sensor empty slash full using immersion method. Then put detector values from calibration tab for empty and full condition into these fields and click Calculate. As a result, you don't have to calibrate the big fuel storage using portions. After cutting the sensor, you only need to immerse it in the tube to detect its detector value in a fully immersed state. The second tool is the input of existing tank calibration table in height-volume format. You need to enter this table in Excel and click the Load button. Then you will need to enter empty and full sensor calibration values detected by calibration in the tube. Let's go further. The next tool is Tank Calibration Designer window. Our calibration table is represented in a form of a chart. It helps you analyze the correctness of tank calibration, same as volume slash height column. An important feature here is the comparison of several tables. You can upload saved calibration files and compare them. As you can see from this comparison, the two imported tables are almost identical to our current table. And one chart is very similar but slightly higher, while the difference in height gradually increases. We have liters as height. Most likely the tank is slightly wider or longer than others, since the volume at the maximum point is 220 liters, while our table contains 213 liters. Now let's do the reverse procedure. We have several calibration tables for 213 liters tanks. We have the tank of the same shape, but its volume is 220 liters. It's a shame, but we can't use the old calibration table as it is. But we can use the tools in our configurator. We will need to know the detector value for the empty and full sensor, as well as the full volume of the tank. Open the table view, select the rightmost point and use the up arrow button to move the full tank point to 220 liters. Use the left and right buttons to move this point so that the value of the detector of full tank corresponds to our sensor. Do the same with the lower calibration point, move it to the actual detector value. It can be seen that the entire curve is stretched and compressed as we need. And if we load that real calibration table, we could see that the differences are very small. Thus, we can avoid tank calibration in the case when tanks have a similar shape but different volume. The shape is decisive, for example for a rectangular tank with rounded top and bottom. The calibration curve graph describes the changes in the shape of the tank from bottom to top by stretching or compressing. We can rebuild it only for tanks that have a similarity. That's all for now. Thanks for your attention. We hope this video is helpful.